Hello and welcome to Hard Way Learning. Today we are doing something a little exciting. We're gonna do, we're gonna mount up the Mega Squirt Plug and Play 2. Uh, first step in doing that is removing some trim along the kick plate and then also accessing this grommet on the firewall. All right, it's right behind this washer bottle. We'll see if we can get a shot of that. So we heard the plunking on the front of the car. She getting passed by the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> so this grommet, which I put a quarter inch hole through and I'm I've got 764 vacuum hose. It's really supposed to be a three millimeter ID hose which is in between an eighth inch and seven sixty-fourths. That grommet is located right and for a better angle on the uh, map line. It's that little grommet right back there. Behind the washer bottle, hard to miss. So we're gonna run this, we're gonna stuff this through and go into the the foot, the passenger foot well and try to pull it pull it down and through. It's sort of behind a some insulation, so you gotta reach behind the insulation and grab it. Just to note, I had bought six feet of hose and that was not long enough, so I went and got seven feet. They gave me about nine or ten feet. So hopefully this will reach now. I'm gonna get up behind. The blower fan, lift this panel up, reach up and to the right. And I can feel that hose coming through a little ways. It helps to have two sets of hands. Dan is busy eating kebabs tonight. So here I am, struggling, doing it the hard way, proving to ourselves that we don't need no man. Not even Dan, huh, man? Hello, it is Kyle from the future, and uh, I just wanted to get a maybe a, attempt at a better shot of where that map line is running. Got to reach way up behind this panel to grab it up there, ish. Um, but hopefully that gives you an idea. Okay, there we go. There's our vacuum line. We have plenty of it this time. Here's the trim. This guy, four Phillips screws right here. Pop that off. Now we're gonna wanna run this line kind of along with. Making sure we have enough slack to connect properly to the ECU behind the passenger chair. We got our map line through. Now we gotta take the old ECU out. It's three 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one here, and one right here. Man, what the, what the? Looks like there's a flipping ground there. And then you're supposed to be able to push it, harness back this way. Of course, I stopped recording when I get it out. Basically, I set the ECU to the side like this and then uh, came in with a flathead, pushed down on this tab and then kind of pried it, pried it out like that, that, and like that. There's three. So now, we should be able to plug in our mega squirt. Since I'm a total pansy and I'm afraid to drill holes into my beautiful car, Mamsy pansy, I'm going to clean off back plate and use 3M heavy duty hook and loop. Each strip holds 12 pounds. This, uh, this ECU is nowhere near that heavy. That wants to mount right around there. I don't know if that's gonna work, folks. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna peel this guy. I don't know, this should hold. Kinda wedge it into that corner. 
press. Okay, so I did the undid the bottom of the seatbelt harness. It's a 17 millimeter, so that I could free up the carpeting a little bit to get this map hose underneath there. I'm gonna run it up this way. I think for now, we are done back here. Got our tuning cable out here. All right, we've got our vacuum hose that we are teeing into right here. We're gonna run this guy through here. And under there. So we're gonna cut this guy right here. <coughs> and put our T. Alright, ideally you would trim this down, but I already put it on. I just want to start the car, plug in Megasquirt, see where we're at. 